But do you think the Earth is round or flat? Round. Round? Yeah. It's obvious, right? No question? No question at all. Okay, so how can you prove that to me right now? I can't right now. Um, I don't know how I prove it to you right now. Do you want me to pull out my phone and show you stuff on the internet? Because that's what I can do. That's what I can do. That's what I can do. All the pictures you see of Earth from space, they're all CGR. 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 Just give me like some facts or like some statements that like proves that the Earth is round. Like without showing me an image of the Earth. Can you do that? If this ball is three quarters water, then you'd be able to detect curvature in the water. Curvature in the water. Curvature it's off in my head, no. Proves you right now that's round? Huh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I could, probably couldn't really. I cannot prove that. I just went to school and they they say that to me and suppose that's real. We've been told that our whole lives, so I, I can't believe it. Look at a tall ship sailing out over the water. Eventually you'll start to lose sight of the bottom of the ship to the point where all you can see is the very top of the mast because of the curvature of the earth. Water is always level. We can prove that on any in any country, at any lab, we can prove that water always finds its level. We can't prove that Correct. at some point it's going to be curved. There's no proof of that. So, we're, we're, if water doesn't curve, we're mostly water. We're in a level plane. We're on a level plane. We're on you show them how the math works for the curvature of the Earth. If the world really is round and has a circumference of 25,000 miles, then you do the math at 100 miles, there would be 6,600 feet of curvature. How you're not going to be able to see something with what is passing to the point of the horizon uh, via the curvature. The earth, water doesn't bend. Water is flat. Water always finds its level. You put water into a container, it conforms to the inside of a container. You can't find water anywhere that forms to the outside of a container. You can see, you can just tell by looking, if you can see the distance, there is natural curvature to the Earth. If you had the most powerful telescope in the world, you would not be able to see anything at a hundred miles because there would be 6,600 feet of curvature. Yet, this is just one of, you know, a thousand feet. This, this is one. But yet, um, uh, the Navy can target ships at a hundred miles away with a, a camera where they photograph the target. And it's a laser target that goes straight. The laser doesn't curve. It goes straight and they can see it. And they can see it. What do we raise? We raise with space, kids, space, 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 space. Red flag. Red flag. Why do they want to get kids with space so long? Because I know that's when the indoctrination sets in as kids. started with the Big Bang. No one fucking believes that. Zero evidence. No one knows anything about the Big Bang Theory, but if you say you believe in it, you're considered a smart person. You don't know shit about it. You know nothing about it. Out of nothing, out of nothing, everything just came about and just exploded. Where's the evidence? There's no fucking evidence of that. It's magic. So shut the fuck up with this fucking Big Bang Theory shit. Magic, that's magic. You have magic. no evidence and you like cling on to it with zero evidence. You, you, you didn't even know that a priest came up with that shit. Uh, I, yeah, I did. A priest, not a scientist, a priest. A scientist, a priest. It's hard to find the truth being a peasant because I don't have access to, you know, high level technology. We have to uh, figure it out for ourselves. Figure it out for ourselves. Figure it out for ourselves. Figure it out for ourselves.
I must say that Admiral Byrd, our guest tonight, is not only our greatest living explorer, but he's been an inspiration to countless Americans. Is there any unexplored land left on this earth that might appeal to adventurous young Americans? Uh, yes, there is. And not up around the North Pole, because it's getting crowded up there now, because they find out it's really usable, not only to live in, but militarily. But strangely enough, there's left in the world today an area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. And it's, uh, I think it's quite astonishing that there should be an area as big as that unexplored. But more important than that, it's, uh, it has to do with the future uh, of the nation, for those to come after us, or even uh, during your lifetime. Because it happens to be an untouched reservoir of natural resources and in the future I can see a time when it will be very very important we had added nearly half a million square miles to the Pacific Ocean and here is our journey's end at length we sighted that great natural phenomenon the ice barrier We started alongside the barrier with our ships. Suddenly, the edge... That's all. You've got to know your limitations, Truman. It's not that we believe something ridiculous and you don't you you don't believe it. It's not about that. It's about we actually don't know what we're on. We always say that. We don't know but based on all the shit that we got by the mainstream, we don't believe that. Right. You believe that. You believe that. When you realize NASA, you know, NASA get nine, they got 19.3 billion in taxpayers money this year. And all they have to do is enough of Hollywood to give us enough photos and stories and hypnotize us and, and connect with our, our inner child, inner child, inner child.
in a child. And so they, they send these rockets up, but they don't really go anywhere. Yeah, if you back. watch the trajectory, right. it's never straight. It's never straight. It's never Where straight. Where are you going? Sorry to tell you. Sorry to tell you. Sorry to tell you. The only thing that's been to space is your imagination. Is your imagination. Is your imagination. There is no such thing as space. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Look at that. They always show the little, you know, little solar panel on the side. Oh, look at that. Get out of here. Look at that. Get out of here. What the Green Lantern fart? What is that? Jesus Christ. saying that what you're looking up in the sky isn't there it's there but what they're telling us it is 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 not real it's not real think that uh, Truman has never come close to discovering the true nature of his world until now. We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as that. 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 Although the sun is at all times above and parallel to the Earth's surface, he appears to ascend the firmament from morning until noon, and to descend and sink below the horizon at evening. This arises from a simple and everywhere visible law of perspective. Bearing these phenomena in mind, it will easily be seen how the sun, although always parallel to the surface of the Earth, must appear to ascend when approaching and descend after leaving the meridian or noonday position. At a certain point, the line of sight to the object and the apparently uprising surface of the earth upon or over which it stands will converge to the angle which constitutes the vanishing point or the horizon, beyond which it will be invisible. It is obvious to any child and sovereign-minded adult that the sun, moon, stars, and planets, every light in the sky above, revolves around the motionless earth beneath our feet.
it is also plain to see that the Sun and Moon are both approximately the same size and situated relatively close to Earth. Close to Earth. not millions upon millions of miles away. Some of the earliest high-altitude aeronauts confirmed the flat Earth. In 1931, Auguste Picard reached an altitude of 51,775 feet, much higher than any plane you've been on. Picard described the Earth as a flat disk with upturned edge. No, you've never seen the curvature of the Earth from an airplane window. Fortunately, you don't have to be a death-defying aeronaut to see what's up there. What you're seeing right now is a video from 121,000 feet. I remember when I first saw this, I was just dumbfounded because it didn't match anything that I've watched before. Whenever you're shown a picture of a high-altitude balloon or even a high flight, you're shown something phony like this. This isn't once in a while, this is the standard. It turns out that these so-called curvature photos and videos were all shot with a fisheye or ultra-wide angled lens to get this effect. That's a fact. It's a curvature illusion. Illusion. For all of our lives, we're inundated with supposed pictures from space. High altitude balloons finally gave us a vision of what the Earth truly looks like from high up. Here's a great example of the standard deception. As you can see by the bent rope, the student's photo here was taken with a fisheye lens and then the article falsely claimed it was the curvature. Do you see the deception? See the deception. 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 I'm tired of trying to fucking wake people up. I'm tired of that shit. Fuck these guys that oh, I believe fucking fish story. Why would they lie? They could never pull something like that off. Then that would mean that everybody was in on it. No way. They didn't say that on CNN. God, I want to get those motherfuckers. Oh, fool these motherfuckers easily. They buy it. What about satellites? Did you know that NASA has hundreds of these satellite balloons up in the air right now? I never knew these NASA satellites existed before Flat Earth. Have you seen them? Google and many other companies have fleets of these balloons as well. Look up Project Loon. The fact that NASA and its subsidiaries hardly discuss these so-called satellites was a huge proof for me because it evinces a deliberate effort to conceal the fact that space satellites don't exist. Don't exist. The whitewash of these balloon satellites is evidence that they are lying about space satellites. These high altitude balloons can carry 8,000 pounds and include telescopes, radar equipment, communications equipment, internet, etc. Here's one that almost killed some people. Finally, look at these actual NASA videos of satellites. They are manifestly fake. Look at this one. 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 Imagine we live on a flat fucking world. All, all this time we thought we lived on a round planet, huh? We have no fucking evidence to believe that we're on a round planet. Only by people telling us. But we really don't know who Eleven. We are, where we came from. Who the fuck is our not, purpose here? I'm not. It's fucking insane. Fuck my whole brain up, right? <laughs> Y'all just got me going in so many directions right there. Guys, there are so many um, facts that it's flat. I mean, think about it. Like, think about it. Like, okay, I... Guys, you don't even know. How do you know? Because did you know... Oh, no, I'm not even going to say it because I'm probably going to be shut down on Instagram or something. So all the astronauts are just actors. Actonauts. 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 Have you ever looked away from Earth into the black void? Black. 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 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, because yeah, you can see yeah, yeah. So you can see the stars. Oh yeah. And, yeah. You know, and, and uh, pretty much all the time you can see yeah. the stars. And there's more than stars. You can see planets. You can right. see moons. We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface. I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the Sona Corolla what uh, what stars we could see. I don't remember seeing any. Can't wait to see Chris Hadfield and tell him that my buddy thinks he's an actor. I can't wait to see him either and say, nice try, bud. Didn't fool me. So though. Chris Hadfield has never been to space, is what you're telling me? Never. No one has. No one has. The world is, is so generous in its beauty, and, and you do your best to, to take pictures of it. It's just, it's just flat and gorgeous to see. It's just flat and gorgeous to see. The fact of the immobility of the Earth has an immense advantage for the theory of the rotation in that it can positively be recognized as such and it can safely be said that if the Earth cannot be seen to move, there are a hundred chances in a hundred that it does not do so. So trust your eyes and trust your experience. Trust your feeling, trust your intuition. Look out, see the horizon, flat. Feel for yourself. You're not moving. Just sit still. Just sit still for a second. You're not moving. You're not spinning around an axis at a thousand miles per hour rotating around the sun at 67,000 miles per hour, spiraling around the galaxy at 500,000 miles per hour, and shooting off from a big bang at 67 million miles per hour. You're not. You're motionless. You're just sitting there. Just sit still. What does that even mean, sit still? think you could sit still with all those motions? Just feel like you're moving. Feel that? Same thing you've always felt. Nothing. Ever. Nobody's ever felt movement. Nobody's ever seen the earth move. Nobody's ever seen the earth curve. Maybe you just got fooled by some masons. Mark Twain said, it's easier to fool people than to convince them they've been fooled. That's why it's so hard to convince you you've been fooled. You can't possibly believe that you and the rest of the world could have been lied to and deceived by these masons. The oldest and largest secret society in the world, over five million members all over the world, existing for hundreds of years, but not you, right? They couldn't fool you. Of course you're spinning around. Of course you are. That's what they told you in school. They don't lie to you in school. 